Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition of the Human Echoes podcast, where we are covering the movies that we saw at the Mile High Film Festival. Today, <laughs> we are talking about Applesauce. It's a strange little movie about a... He's not a professor, he's just a teacher in New York, and his his wife and a pair of friends. Like, uh, basically starts out, he calls into a radio show, and they're talking about the worst thing that they've ever done. And if you guys have seen the trailer for this, it's really a huge tease. Like, he's just trying to get it out, trying to get it out, but his wife comes in and interrupts him, and, and the, he, he's trying to get comfortable with the DJ, and then it just, like, ends, and they don't tell you what happened. Well, it's great. The, the, if you've seen... The trailer is basically just the first scene from the movie, uh, and he calls in, and he has his conversation with the DJ, and he starts with, I cut one... The, this one time, I cut off a man's... <laughs> and then his wife comes in and interrupts me, and he's like, honey, we gotta go, and he's like, I'm talking on the radio! Uh... <laughs> Which is a great hook for, you know, just to like get you like, what did, what did he cut off? I want to know. Uh, but it doesn't it actually, that's not the mystery of the story because it answers that in the next scene. Uh, he goes to dinner. He's with his wife and their two friends and they're all really good friends. Uh, and he tells this story about how that he cut off a man's fingers with the heavy door at this bar bathroom. He got into a big brawl and what you know this guy was mad at him because he thought he was hitting on his girl or whatever and so like he ran away and in trying to run away slammed the door on this guy's hand and severed two of his fingers and then the movie gets weird for lack of a better word that it's Definitely hard for me to move in that way you were talking about how this movie was a little movie and I, from a certain perspective I, it is but i thought my, my main complaint about this one was it was too long because there's a lot of really strong performances and this is I don't I can't describe to you how funny this movie is. Yeah, like the entire theater was cackling at different points of it. Um and it's such an odd like it's a weird because what the way the story progresses then is that these two couples start delving into this idea of the worst thing you've ever done. The other couple goes home and they ask each other what's the worst thing you've ever done and the first like he says, you know, you know they kind of like cuts away a little bit and then cuts back and she's like, you peed on a puppy? <laughs> what is wrong with you? And just like, that was hilarious. Yeah, she's like full on animal rights activist. So like the thought of them coming across a puppy in the middle of the woods <laughs> and the first idea. And he like describes the ordeal too. He goes to the whole like, she's like, well, why didn't it run away? He's like, well, there was like three of us and we we're like, and it's just like, it's <laughs> absurd. And the whole movie has this great very naturalistic dialogue yeah it's a, it it wasn't like quite tarantino as dialogue but the entire movie is driven by it it really feels like the, the strength of this movie i think because they talk a lot about jazz there's a lot of jazz music in the background uh there's a plot point that you know there is a character who was a jazz saxophonist and they and several scenes take place in a jazz bar and it really feels like the movie is a form of cinematic jazz they're just sort of riffing off one story point leads into another story point and at some point like so so the, the way that it continues on from there is that and by the way this is like not exactly a spoiler because this very long movie and a lot of different stuff goes down um but what happens at, after the wife finds out about the puppy peeing is that she tells her husband that she had not slept with but well, they just fooled really around in like a bathroom with while they were drunk the other guy who's you know the the husband and the other couple uh, a couple of years ago I, it wasn't exactly clear to me if they were all together at the time and yeah i wasn't 100 percent sure on that but considering that it was a year ago and that both couples are married there was definitely some infidelity of some kind happening anyway so he goes off and he gets upset and it turns into this sort of meditation on the idea of revenge and getting back at someone for for wronging you and how that just turns into this spiral and it keeps being funny like I, I i can't stress enough how much you keep laughing at this movie but it it does have a lot of fat on it yeah it, 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 i said jazz earlier and in my mind a lot of jazz songs kind of go on for a while and you're yeah. like, where, where is this going a little bit you know and maybe they don't it, it, it's a really apt metaphor uh in this particular case and i would have cut some stuff out but by the end of the movie, like you start out kind of liking these people because you're laughing at them. The end of the movie, you start realizing how despicable yeah. all of these characters are and you're still laughing at them. But for me anyway, I just hated myself. I was like, I hate myself for laughing at these people at I, this point. It was definitely a movie about hypocrisy too. Like it was, 
these characters they start out and like Al was saying they're they're really funny and they're charming and they're interesting and just over the course of the movie like they keep trying to hurt each other more and more and more and like you see the main character who's a, kind of like an ethics teacher he's trying to teach his kids empathy he's trying to put big ideas in their head and but he's, he's really, really not living up to any of those ideals at all and and th- that was and and then then by the way on top of all this that character is getting body parts in the mail well, not yeah. in the mail but like they just show up like it like, starts out with places. a finger and he's very like freaked out by where these are coming from he starts like pointing the finger at all of the different people in his life and uh you know so that kind of like plays in with all of the other stuff you know all of the sort of infidelity things just kind of causes these dominoes to fall and it was a good I mean, the message that we keep hurting ourselves over and over and that violence and offense is cyclical is a good message. I think that we need to have that. And this movie did a decent job of covering it, even though it's not something that's completely original. I mean, it's something we can all talk about. Like, yes, obviously, we, you know, violence causes other violence. But it really it, it brought that home really well. I just. It, it was hard to like, really. I, I don't know. Like, it's difficult to, to parse because I, I did like the movie. I liked what it was saying. I had my issues with it, but by the end, I, again, I felt dirty laughing at them. Like I felt (laughs) bad at how funny I found what they were saying and what they were doing because they're not, they weren't good people. And, and you know, the, the one, the main character, not only with the empathy thing, but he keeps talking about like, well, people just don't read enough anymore. We need more readers. And then like, it's becomes clear. He's actually not that literate himself. Just the hypocrisy and the, you know, you just get, the more you get to know these characters, the more you realize that they're complete scumbags. Um, but it's it's something that I think everybody, all of y'all, should watch at least once. Just get like get it out of your system because it's it's very funny and it is just the way that this plot unfolds is so not unbelievable, but it's 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 not something that you we're really used to. There's a lot of sort of chaos and things that seem like they're coming out of left field, and they all sort of come together at the end in a really interesting way ending goes on just a little bit too long probably yeah, would have cut it a couple scenes earlier there's one odd thing that happens in the ending and we're not going to spoil it but it was it seemed kind of out of left field i will say too like at the very end like the last scene he just says and i guess i've learned that like violence creates other violence for real and maybe there's not and i was like did you really need to put a bow on it <laughs> did you need to tell us like Guys, the point of the movie was that people offend each other and then they keep having this cycle of offense over and over. And it plays out in our personal lives and in international politics. <laughs> You've been warned. Like, I, we <laughs> got it. Okay, it's... it's. Uh, anyway, I, I felt like they hit the nail a little bit too hard on the head. But still, a good, really nice rumination on that particular topic. So, What did you end up rating it? <sighs> I think I I want I want to say I gave it a four. I can't remember exactly. I was like at the beginning, I was at a five for that movie. I was like, this is amazing. The plot so far out of left field and like going in directions you never would expect is, you know, from where it starts at. And the the humor was great. But as it overstayed its welcome, I just had to knock a star off. I I gave it a four. Yeah, I believe I gave it a four as well. So uh, good movie, though really unique it's very we talked in the review of body about how great the camera work in this movie the camera work is just like handheld not sloppy necessarily but it's kind of like the office where there's a little bit of movement on the camera like it's almost like pragmatic might be the best word where they're just like we're just going to show you pictures but you know close up of a face close up of a face back and forth back and forth sometimes it's a little out of focus and i think that worked again with the sort of the jazz theme where it wasn't it didn't look like it was really really well planned uh but you know i i don't know exactly how much was improvised in this movie and what the, the stylistic technique was it looked exhausting though by the time the end i was like how many scenes did they shoot yeah that was a lot <laughs> it must have been a long t- <laughs> anyway that was that was that's our fault thoughts on uh applesauce good not, movie not really a horror movie per se no there's some aside from the human remains that get sent to the one guy yeah like that's uh that's the only horror element is like oh there's a foot and another there's, body part yeah you'll never think of asian noodles again mm, yeah or the same way again anyway i think that's everything we have to say on applesauce so check out the other videos from this and be sure to like and subscribe 
Thanks, guys. Bye.